What is going on, guys? If you didn't know, we're back with actually some demos. My name is Josh Desai. My name is Ethan Zat. Uh -huh. Just kidding. Link in the description. What was your name again? Ethan Zat. All right. I'm going to be switching fingers throughout this video because this mic is really constricting my circulation in my fingers. So yeah, we are here bringing you a demo, but it's not just any demo. We are doing a demo with the new and improved. Just kidding. It's only new. The Brilliant Labs B-Board. Comes equipped with micro bit technology. Really good for the... Uh hobby tinkerer. You want to hold it up there? I have created a little program for the micro bit that's in the Brilliant Lab B board that plays a little tune. What kind of tune are we playing uh, today? The tune is called Entry of the Gladiator. Do you think before we play this tune you can explain the kind of process we went through? Because I'm going to show clips of it oh, yeah. as you do it, you know what I'm saying? So this was a painstaking and grueling project. I had to listen to the song over and over again. So Entry of the Gladiators is a song that's not commonly known for its name. It's more commonly known for being the, the clown song. So you'll you'll get to hear it in a minute here, but if you think of the clown song, this is the song that you'll hear. Ethan Zad is now gonna take us through the coding process. I just put the code onto the B-board, so I have it forever displaying brilliant labs with this little like smiley face. So it's really cool. So it's cycling through the words here, and then at the end there's a smiley face. Um, and then I have it so on the button B, whenever that's pressed, it uh, plays the tune. So I'll show you guys the code here. So they're all half beats and quarter beats. So you kind of just drag the codes out? Yeah, it's, it's, this is drag and drop. You can do JavaScript. I used to play music when I was younger. I used to be really good at uh, reading music. I'm not anymore. So this took a little bit of work to get all the notes in place. But what I'm going to do for everybody now is play the song on my laptop. I hope. It's a little choppy, but did my best. So right now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook up the B-board. There are these teeny weeny diagram cable-y thingies that we have to start hooking up. I'm going to hook up the clips as we speak. There are these little clips called alligator clips, and they have teeth like an alligator's beak, <laughs> snout, mouth. <laughs> you attach them to the Brilliant Lab B-board. Headphone connector itself. goes to the base of the connector and the power goes to the tip of the headphone connector. Thus, allowing us to create sound. <laughs> now that, my friends, was pure code. Can we get another play of that? Yes. Josh, is the volume now correct? I think so. Okay, Josh, if you want to be the one to click the uh, little B button on the micro so bit. So when I click the B button on the micro bit, what does that do? It activates entry of the gladiator. <laughs> so I'm, I'm recording my screen right now. I'll give you guys a quick look at the code. So yeah, to get the piano going. So this is a middle G, you know, so it brings up this little keyboard here. You know, you can kind of pick the note. So I'm using middle G. And then you can kind of just pick any note. You can play little songs here. Okay, that was my little... Did you just little, literally do little... little um, yeah, so... It's a fully functioning keyboard, and that's how you choose the notes. Like I said, I'm using middle G here. That's the final note, and then uh, that's just kind of how you pick each one. And you can choose what kind of beat you want. You know, a full beat has a longer pause. I'm using a half beat here, so it's like half of a full beat. You can use quarter, eighths, and sixteenths. Well, yeah, you know, this is a this is a little code snippet uh, from the side here. It's a drag and drop from the music. So this is indeed code, Joshua. So there is a forever loop going on. There's the show LED, show icon, show string. The show string basically shows text on the screen and then the icon. There's a bunch of different ones you can pick here. Really fun. 
really easy to learn. If you want to get started in coding, make a project like this. Code.brilliantlabs.app is a great start. I guess that's all, folks. As uh, what's this <laughs> demo? Hope you guys enjoyed. Happy coding. Did you just literally end it off? That was my job. Oh, my bad.